It is November 24th, it is Friday evening, and we're watching live the return of the hostages, of some of the hostages to Israel. Uh, we've been anticipating for this all day, like many other families in Israel. 13 of the hostages are in Israel. We see here that Thai workers, 12 Thai workers um, uh, that are also uh, being released. This lady that's being interviewed, she's a, a member of uh, some of the hostages that are being released and she's just speaking about the excitement and she's saying butterflies in her stomach and she's waiting for them and she loves them. Here we see uh, one of the older hostages being released, an elderly woman. She's able to walk. She seems happy. This is wonderful news. Here is Hannah Perry, she's 79 years old, one of the hostages that's been released. She's able to walk, she's been led in Israel. Uh, this is great news. Uh, here she is. It's wonderful to see that she's uh, what seems like in relatively good health. Here we see Daniela Loni, she's 45 from Yavne, but she was um, kidnapped from Nir Oz. Most of the hostages that are being released have, were kidnapped from Nir Oz. Um, one of the kibbutz uh, next to the Gaza Strip. Here's Amelia Aloni, she's six. She's also kidnapped from Niroz and she's Daniel Aloni's daughter. This is Adina Moshe, 72, 72 years old, uh, also from Niroz. They're saying all the photos and names are an official uh, announcement and it's confirmed that these are the people that are being released uh, back into Israel. And it's confirmed that they're in Israel already. Here's Hannah Perry again, 79 years old from Nirim. We see her uh, walking with the medical personnel. She's able to walk, that's already good news. She seems in relatively good health. Here's Margalit Moses, 77 from Nir Oz. We also hear that um, from Qatar that Israel is releasing 30 something hostages, sorry, prisoners right now. The reporters are saying that once the Israelis um, uh, recognize the names and the faces of the Israeli hostages being released, and they confirm that those are actually the people, they will start releasing the prisoners. It hasn't happened yet. It will happen. It's just a matter of a short time before Israel will start releasing the prisoners. Here's Karen Mundar, 54 years old, also kidnapped from Nir Oz. Ohad Mundel turned nine. His birthday, his ninth birthday, was in captivity and was uh, announced in Israel on his birthday. Now, some of these families that are being released um, have other family members that are still in captivity, like the uh, men or soldiers um, that are not being released. So, some family members in Israel are receiving some, and others are still in captivity. Another woman, Yafa Adar, she's 85 years old, kidnapped from Nir Oz. She's confirmed to be in Israel now. And they're all received um, into the hospitals. That's where their families are waiting for them. The reporters are saying that these are very tough grandmas that live in the surrounding villages of, the, of Gaza. And uh, what they went through hell, you know, going through hell in the Hamas in Gaza. Uh, they're just very, very tough. Here in the photo, we see um, Yaffa being surrounded by terrorists, being kidnapped um, from Israel into the Gaza Strip on October 7th. They took her from her home. She's sitting in the, this little uh, vehicle with a blanket from home. They just take a grandma, right? And they take her into Gaza. And they keep her there for almost 50 days. And here she's coming back into Israel just a few minutes ago, um, standing on both of her legs, walking in. Anna Katsil, 77 years old, um, it was known that she was kidnapped by the Jihad, the Islamic Jihad, that they also uh, were part of the massacre on October 7th. An important note that they're talking about is that Khana Katsir was announced dead by Hamas and they were blaming Israel because Israel is not quick enough to release the hostages and they're not, you know, progressing with the deal. And they announced Khana Katsir dead, but it was a psychological game. Uh, mental game. Hannah Katsir is alive and she's um, in Israel right now. An official announcement from the uh, IDF spokesperson is that uh, the, the hostages are right now in Israel. They're not hostages anymore and they're being escorted by medical personnel and um, elite IDF units. 
Here's another one that is confirmed right now. Doron Katz Asher, she's 34 years old, kidnapped from Nir Oz with her daughter, Aviv Asher, two years old. The reporter is saying this is an exciting evening. It's Erev Shabbat. It's the evening between Shishi and Shabbat, Friday and Saturday. And this is an exciting but a very hard and sad uh, day as well for the families that are receiving them in the hospitals. And tomorrow will be 50 days uh, since the war has broken out and these people were in captivity. And still, so many more people are in captivity. These are the pictures here. It says, Chazru Habaita, returned back home. Ohad Munder, nine years old. Karen Munder, his mother, 54 years old. Daniel Aloni and Amelia Aloni, a mother and a daughter. Doron Katz on the far right with her two daughters, Aviv and Asher, a two-year-old and a four-year-old. And down here, the older women. One of them is the, the grandma. Avohad Mundel, Ruti Mundel at the far right, Yafa Adar, Margalit Moses, Hana Katsir, Adina Moshe, and Hana Peri. They are all back in Israel, safe and sound. It's an exciting but hard day. The reporter says that this evening has unfolded um, as planned. No bad surprises, no negative schemes. Um, and we're very happy to have confirmed. Uh, that these are all in Israel. And a total of 50 in all of the ceasefire. Qatar, the mediator, um, hasn't yet given the list of the next 12 to be released tomorrow. This is Rotem again for All Israel News.